up anglers mike here trout mate angler company welcome back to the channel thank you for smashing that play button you're in for a good treat if this is your first time on the channel consider subscribing if you enjoy this content that's only if you enjoy the content if you think it's cool if you think it's helpful if it gets you motivated to take action stay determined to have yourself a great experience that will that's what we call get made here on trout made angler company again my name is mike and today anglers we're go do it we're we're going this is a bucket list trip bucket list trout water for me okay yes it is the end of january yes there's trout to be caught in january um in california but all over the country as well and that's where we're headed we're actually headed to i'm just gonna let you know i'm gonna drop it right now not even the suspense is killing you right pyramid lake nevada land of the freaking giants man cutthroat trout la hot and cutthroat trout okay this fishery was was extinct these fish were extinct okay and and through some efforts of um locals that actually found the strain in a stream and i believe if my research i i can't really remember but i did all my research i've been doing my research for like five years anglers i've been looking at this lake i i i trout fishing on google and pyramid lake comes up and i'm like wow i want to catch one of those fish and i actually did catch one of those fish the laha and cutthroat out of june lake seven nine but I have never been to Pyramid Lake. This lake is, this, this body of water is so special. It's enchanted for sure. And kind of giving you some history. And, and, and like I said, these fish were extinct, right? Let me give you a little bit of backstory. All right. I, I encourage you to go online and, 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 and read some of these stories. Uh, watch some of the YouTube videos, Pyramid Lake. Um, so... Someone found the strain, reintroduced it with the help of the locals, um, the, the fish and wildlife there in Nevada, and the, the, the Paiute tribe, the tribe that inhabits Pyramid Lake. Okay, they rebounded the, the species. And there's a couple different species, I believe. One that's, that's native and, and one that's a pilot and it's a stock. They, but I don't know. I, I, it's confusing. But I'm bet, anglers. I'm going to learn for sure. Not just what kind of fish I'm catching and, you know, do process and take in the whole experience of it all and come back to you and, and relay that information to you, that knowledge to you on, on this, this great species, man. And these guys are monsters. I don't, I don't know the record there, but I know 20 pounders lurk. So... I'm not like crossing my fingers and hope is never a strategy. And when you're getting made, luck is in a factor. Okay, we're motivated. We're going to take action right now. We're determined. We're so determined, anglers, to have a great experience and catch some fish at Pyramid Lake, Nevada, that we are freaking headed into a snowstorm. All right, it should be snowing right now over Pyramid uh, in Nevada, all over the country, you know, the Western Hemisphere, this this storm is brewing and um, it's it could be ugly. So it's snowing tonight. It's snowing tomorrow morning, 90 percent chance, 80 percent chance. And then um, it's uh, yeah, it's 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 not snowing. It's like 60 percent chance of snow so we're headed into the thick of it anglers we are determined to have this experience ray and myself so um real quick let me just um i'm gonna go over the gear rods reels i'm using uh, i'm not gonna pull out everything but i do want to show you uh kind of just show you real quick and let you know and you'll see uh the rods reels in action um but let's go ahead and just start on uh trout rod Okay, so a 7.6 Phoenix is probably, as far as ultralight concerned, the, the, the heftiest, most backbone. I don't know, but I've caught some big fish on my Phoenix Elixir. 
I was just told that um, that rod will not just, they won't turn their heads. You know, you'll be able to, you know, the line, you know, I'm you know, going to re-spool to some higher grade line, higher pound test, but 7.6 just won't do it. So I had to find uh, like salmon steelhead rod and um, it was kind of last minute, but I found one. East County Bait and Tackle. Thank you guys, DJ over there. Thank you so much for um, holding this rod for me. And I picked it up this morning. So let me grab that real quick and uh, kind of show you. And it's, uh, tell you about it a little bit. All right, anglers. So I have it kind of wrapped securely for travel. Um, but this is a Temple Fork Outfitter. Okay, Temple Fork Outfitters, TFO. Um, it's a TFG SRS 864-2. Okay, so it's an 8 foot 6 inches rod. 8.6 rod. All right. Um, 8 to 12 pound test. 30, 3 eighths ounce to uh, 3 quarter ounce rod. So we're going to be um, using this with the Sh Shimano Stratic uh, 1000L. Okay, and... It's a 1,000, it, it'll handle this this fish. The important thing is the rod to be able to tame those beasts, those monsters, right? Turn their heads and let the reel do it do its job um, and the drag. So we'll be able to use the Shimano Stratic 1,000 and we're going to be putting 10-pound uh, braid on there, Power Pro, and we're probably going to be running some 8 uh, eight pound fluorocarbon um, leader to that. So here's my trout rod, Temple Fork Outfitters. All right. Um, I don't know the like model. Oh, here's the tag still. All right. It's a signature series. All right. So these are great rods, anglers. Uh, very inexpensive. This is $130. Um, check them out if you're interested in uh, fly rods. I actually have a TFO. Uh, fly rod um, not not that I'm taking on this trip but my regular nine foot five weight is a Temple Fork Outfitters and I love it so here's our trout rod anglers with the Shimano Stratic 1000 10 pound braid to 8 pound fluorocarbon all right anglers so you know I, I got, when I got into fly fishing when I was in Arkansas I spent the summer there fly fishing on the White River I fell in love with this technique of fishing it's very um primitive to me it's the it's it's hand to line and it's the line in that fish and yeah you have your rod and again that five weight is is the one of the basic fly fishing rods it's you know uh probably equivalent to you know an ultralight rod it's just not gonna do it it's not gonna turn those heads of those big laha and cutthroats a pyramid okay so I went out and I got myself a good deal. Um, actually just discontinued, but it's an Echo Base. All right, it's a nine foot seven weight, seven pound weight um, line. So let's take a look real quick. I'm just gonna take out the, the butt handle. There we go. It's like a forest green and black. Super sick, but it's actually going to match uh, the reel uh, to it, which has a sick cam. I'm, I'm going to show you the reel, okay? So this is the Echo Base 9 foot 7 weight, okay? It's going to help me land, hopefully. No, hope is not a strategy, anglers. If... I'm, I'm, I am prepared and, and mentally, and I'm in the right place at the right time, and I'm doing what I got to do. I should get made, and I should. This should be my opportunity for my first double-digit trout. And um, I think that's why I've never gone to Pyramid. I've just been so um, intimidated by it, really. Just like intimidated. Um, but trout are trout. Trout are trout. So, so, you know, we just go with our gut instincts and, and, and we take our experience thus far as an angler. And, you know, that's our, that's our ammo, you know, against these, these, uh, 
they're they're really prehistoric these fish go back a long time in the world and um they're special so echo base nine foot seven weight let me show you the reel real quick all right cool it's not an orvis it's just old or orvis case it's an echo seven weight man look at that that fly line the, the backing's white and the fly line goes from tan to 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 green so camo pretty sick so got some backing on there seven weight fly line and uh, we are ready to go okay we're gonna be running zero X tip it uh, up to or down to 3x from 3x up to 0x so eight pound to about 15 pound okay fluorocarbon on our fly line that's what we're running anglers all right we're not messing around here you know those trout don't mess around so why should we they're not messing around they don't want to get made you know they're on their own program they're just eating and hopefully we could put something in front of their face they want to eat i'm pretty confident not really but you know um yeah we'll see how it goes so while i'm on the fly fishing this thing's pissing me off all right cool so that's the fly setup we got the 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 trout spin setup we covered we got the fly rod uh the fly combo what we'll be be using uh covered for fly fishing pyramid lake and um Let's talk about what kind of baits we're going to be using on the spin and on the fly. Actually got something special for you for the fly fishing. So we'll save that for last. All right, anglers. So we're going to be covering um, what baits we're going to be using. Okay. Um, with our spin setup, you know, you got to throw a little bit of bigger stuff, bigger baits. Um, not so big, but the smallest is about 1 16th minimum. Okay. There's a lot of bait fish in this water over at Pyramid Lake. So another great bait that mimics bait fish and catches a lot of fish is the hookup baits. So I actually paid a visit, made an order, paid a visit to the shop. Thank you, Chad and crew, um, for, uh, these baits. Um, so made the order. There's something special in there for me. I'm going to uh, show, can't show that right now. I'll show that later, maybe, if we uh, hook up on something, get made. But we're going to be using black and gold and shad white from the hookup baits, okay? So black and gold, or sh shad white's going to be from the mornings and the evenings, okay? So it's darker, the water's darker, so that, that lighter color is going to stand out. But later on, in the, throughout the day, we're going to be using that black and gold, okay? It's going to mimic that silhouette uh, of a bait fish. Okay, and we'll, be, we'll probably be fishing uh, any baits we're throwing on the spin rod. We're going to be fishing anywhere from 10 to 15 feet. That's it. Okay, the cutthroat, even if they're deeper, all trout look where, anglers? Up. They look up. So we want them to come up and smash it. All right, so maybe go down to 20 feet. But honestly, only about a 5 to 10 count is going to work for us on anything we throw on the spin. So... That's what we're going to be using. Those are the baits. And, you know, like I said, this fly fishing. When I was in Arkansas, I, I fell in love with fly fishing. And I, that's what a, the number one thing I'm going to be doing at this lake. Yeah, I'm going to be throwing the spin. We're going to hook up. You know, if it's really slow on the fly, if it's that that slow, then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll pick up the spin and... and Try to get made any way we can. You know, whatever gets bit. That's the motto here. We're going to throw what we can. All right, anglers. So real quick, let me, it's this, I have to mention this, okay? Anywhere you go fishing, you got to check on the regulations, okay? So at Pyramid Lake, Nevada, Pyramid Lake, okay, it is on an Indian reservation. So we have to uh, not only purchase, we do not need a Nevada state fishing license because it is separate, right? So we do need a permit from the Paiute tribe, the tribe there at Pyramid um, to fish. But also, okay, at this lake, it's unscented and barbless hooks. Okay, so no scents allowed, no dough baits. It's all artificial uh, 
you know, no live bait, nothing, okay? So, no scent, no live bait, artificial, barbless. You can keep, there is a slot, I think, from 17 inches to 20 inches, you can keep a trout, okay? But we're not keeping any trout anglers. We're here to let them go and let them grow, you know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to be pinching all my barbs down and checking all of that before I toss anything in the water. Okay, so that wraps it up for what we'll be throwing on the spin combo, the TFO, and the Stratic 1000L. All right, anglers, so let's go over some of the flies we're going to be throwing on that new Echo Base 7 weight. Um, stopped over at the fly shop, so I want to thank, I believe it's Dan and Alex over at the fly stop for helping me out, giving me some info, some tips, and kind of just putting me on some game to give me a, a good chance of landing one of these trout. So um, we're going to be rocking the balanced leeches, okay, so that dark right we want dark for the daytime and then we also got oh hold on it'll bother me later i'm so ocd we also got we'll go olive for the morning and evening so that'll be our top fly anglers the balanced leech on the bottom fly we're going to be running the midge okay so they didn't have midges these size they're a little bit bigger i'm gonna be using size eight barbless nymph hooks i bought them yeah i bought the hooks and i tied my own freaking flies what i tied my own flies anglers what you know about that what you know i tied my own midges i'm pretty they're not pretty at all okay they're not pretty at all but i'm gonna be pretty stoked and pretty proud if i land one of these fish on one of these midges i did my research and my colors so we got some blacks with white heads some copper white heads some copper on copper, some white and red candy cane, some uh, white, red, and black, white, red, wh uh, white, and copper. We got this little guy over here. So we're going to go ahead and, um, man, I, I, I'm pretty, this is awesome, man. I, to tie your own, I made my own mini jig, uh, but to tie my own fly and to go on, on such an adventure and journey as Pyramid Lake, Nevada, man, it's epic. It's epic. So. Um, I got a treat for you anglers before we get out of here. Let's go ahead and go to the vice We're gonna hit the vice. I'm gonna bring you over here so you could watch me uh, Tie this fly and I'll go over kind of just what I'm doing not instructional But just what I know okay, cuz I'm not an expert. I just got some threads some hooks and some beads and Put it together man with some glue and a couple knots <laughs> so um, I'm stoked anglers stoked to show you what I've learned here on uh, tying some flies and stoked to hopefully take these out there. You know, I'm saying, I keep saying hope, man. I gotta get that shit out of my vocabulary. I'm stoked to take these out there and put them in front of some trout and see if they get bit. That's the best I could wish for. See, I didn't say hope. It's the best I could wish for. All right. That's the best, that's the best we can expect. How about that? Realistically. It's not a it's not a term of hope or 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 sad or or sadness. It's it's no expectation, anglers. <laughs> no expectations. But I hope I get bit. All right, anglers. So we're gonna be using these right here. These A Rex size eight hooks, curved nymph hooks, barbless. All right, they are pretty big, right? <laughs> So I'm going to be using those. I believe this is a 3 32nd uh, bead or 5 32nd bead head copper tungsten. Okay. And tungsten makes it sink faster. Okay. It's heavier. So it's heavier than lead. So we got tungsten bead head. And then we have our, our thread. Okay. Uh, this is a 210. It goes by like some, uh, I forget the German, German name diameter for it uh i forget but i don't know they'll let you know ask the fly shop whatever you're going to or order it's very thin this one's 210 it's perfect for midges okay 210 ultra thread made in the usa all right so we got that and then we got our copper wire that's going to go around our midge 
okay and that is the ultra wire and that is the ultra wire medium copper all right ultra thread same company and uh where are we starting all right let's put our first thing you got to do is put your hook through the bead head and it sits right there all right put that baby in the vise lock it down all right so All right, so we're just gonna start with uh, kind of just, you don't wanna make your midges super thick, okay? So it's kind of like one coat. One time. See, you can see I'm not an expert at this. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to edit this, but the camera's in my way, so it's making it a little difficult. I'm definitely gonna get a better setup. Let me cut this thread right here. All right, so I'm definitely gonna get a better setup. Because you should be like watching me from the top maybe, I don't know. But we're gonna go all the way down. Don't lay it on thick there, just keep it natural, very thin, sorry. I, I'm not used to, to the dexterity yet. Oh man, you guys are probably laughing at me. Probably laughing. It's all good. We're getting made right now. We're getting made. We're tying our own freaking flies, man. I bet you guys didn't think that was ever going to happen here. I don't know. I did it. All right, so we're tying that copper wire. Let me shorten my... This thing, this tool right here is called a bobbin, okay? It's called a bobbin. Hold your thread. All right, I gotta move this just cause no, we'll, we'll deal with it. I do not, man, this is horrible, but you get the idea. All right, cool. So now you got it wrapped. Okay. We wrapped the copper wire down here. We're going to wrap the midge. And just, you know, evenly space it, I guess. That's what I was doing. See how long it takes this video is like how long it takes me to tie one of these. Not really, probably a little faster. Like I said, the camera is in the way. I'm gonna get a better setup. And um, so I could do more of these videos. All right, anglers. So there you go. I tied that midge. Uh, we put it in the box and we are ready to hang out with the wifey and the puppy, eat some dinner and get a couple of Z's, get some rest before we hit the road early in the morning. So 
Safe travels to us. See you guys later. My name is Mike. This is Trout Made Angler Company. You just watched the pre-fishing for Pyramid Lake, Nevada. Land of the Giants, man. We're going. And we're going to get made. Yup. Yeah. Oh, got a big on it.